guys and welcome back. We are now discussing lesson 9, basic differentiation rules. I hope that you have watched the other series for lesson 8 uh, definition. It talks about the definition of the derivative of a function. So this is actually a continuation of that discussion and we have these rules and theorems which will help us uh, solve derivatives in an efficient and faster way. So let's start. Let's start with the first rule. We have D1 and this D1 is called the constant rule. Okay. So what does the constant rule say? So if we have a function f of x equals k and it is a constant function of course where k is actually a constant then the derivative of this function k okay this function uh, equals to k is just zero okay so again uh, constant functions these are functions with a constant and it does not contain any variable at all so example we have we can have f of x equals 3 so if you have this kind of given automatically the derivative of this is 0 okay so let's illustrate why is it 0 uh, if we have a constant function the graph of a constant function is actually a horizontal line again uh, constant functions their graph uh, their graphs are const, uh, horizontal lines and of course if you try to observe the horizontal line the slope is zero and take note the derivative is actually a slope it is a slope of the tangent line and uh, and the tangent line is actually the horizontal line itself which is or which contains the zero slope okay let's try to prove this why is this also true so again if we have a constant function uh, we can use the definition of the derivative of a function so we have this okay now suppose that f of x is actually a constant function and so this would imply that our f of x plus h and f of x are also constant functions because again h is just a number it's a constant uh, which is actually approaching zero so and remember as h approaches zero this f of x plus h and f of x become equal to k itself okay hence we'll have this so our derivative now uh, instead of f of x plus h take note h is approaching zero so this is already assumed to be k and f of x is also k uh, based on our assumption here at the start okay so k minus k is zero so we will have zero over h and zero over h is actually zero okay and of course the limit of a constant is just a constant itself so limit of zero is just zero so this is the proof of the constant rule. Now let's have some example. So again, if we have f of x equals a constant, the square root of 1 half is a constant. It does not contain any variable. And if we find the derivative, automatically will answer 0. So we don't need to use the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0, so on and so forth. We simply answer it as zero as long as it's a constant the derivative is always